Coming up in Access episode 64, Anarchy Reigns is our game of the week, there's the latest news in PlayStation Briefing, all the biggest downloadables in our store roundup, we chat to Bioshock Infinite's Ken Levine in bonus level, jet off to Tokyo for Nino Kuni in Access All Areas, and sign out with some New Year's madness. No new year has ever really started until you've been run over by a steaming murder truck and headbutted into a river of molten metal by a man wearing a bull helmet. So welcome to 2013, courtesy of Anarchy Reigns, the thumping, free-roaming brawler from the studio behind Vanquish and Bayonetta Platinum Games. Like everything Platinum do, Anarchy Reigns is mental. A frantic chaos of giant fists, bionic super weapons, and moments where there's so much exploding going on that the camera gives up and takes a nap. The story is really secondary to all the mega knuckled action, but involves men in the shape of bears and women drawn as sexy barbed wire in a future made up of robots, mutants, and endless violence. You can choose whether to play as white, where your character is sleek, half mech government agent Leo, or black, in which case your gruff chainsaw up its sleeves chaser Jack Kamen. Many of the characters are familiar from other Platinum games, even Bayonetta turns up as a DLC extra, and they're all introduced like this which in real life would get annoying pretty quickly. All the characters have a role to play, especially since multiplayer is where the game's heart really lies. The combat, which is less intricate than the super combos of Bayonetta, is based on timing and evasion, and makes even more sense against human opponents than the campaign's bosses and gangs, even if your first few games online are likely to feel like strapping yourself into a spanking machine. Be warned that Anarchy Reigns might be considered an acquired taste. Everything about it is exaggerated and overblown, and like its PS2 predecessor God Hand, is more interested in delivering repeated blows to your head than looking good or having a deep single player story. On the other hand, you can hang off a helicopter shooting streets of people to dust. Anarchy Reigns is out this Friday, and it's the best way of saying Happy New Year ever. <laughs> Listen up, people, it's time for your first briefing of 2013. Oh, it's good to be back. Especially since heading our way like an unstoppable meteor hosting an all-night space zombie disco is a demo for blockbuster horror Dead Space 3. Keep your eyes on the PlayStation Store later in the month to get your hands on the still slightly broken in the brain's engineer Isaac as he slices necromorphs and makes a new friend, who you'll also be able to try in the new co-op mode. Now we move on to Defiance, a unique collaboration between MMO experts Tryon and the Sci-Fi Channel that'll see the Aliens on Earth drama play as a TV series and games simultaneously. So who can describe how it works without using the words transmedia experience? Do this transmedia experience. Oh, unlucky Nathan. Rob? So the, the game and the show start at roughly the same time, and as things happen in the show, they will be reflected in the game. As things happen in the game, they will be reflective in the show, and they will they will change in real time over the at least the first 13 episode season. And then in the off season is when we work with the uh, television show to figure out how they're going to start the second season and really start to tell stories that really lead up to that. Lovely. We'll have more on Defiance ahead of its release this spring. Finally, with Aliens Colonial Marines inbound at the beginning of February, Sega have released a new story trailer packed with stuff that makes us excited. Cited, namely, a glimpse of Aliens hero Corporal Hicks, voiced by original actor Michael Bean. My unit has suffered immense casualties on LV-426. Bishop the Android, who we're assuming from the fact he's not in two pieces, must be a different version of the same model seen in James Cameron's film. And of course, loads and loads of aliens. Now all we need is a rousing speech from a grumpy senior officer and... Rise and shine, Marines. I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. Yes, bring on Xenomorph O'Clock. That's all for Briefing Now. We'll be back with more next week. Right, time to get downloading. It's your weekly roundup from On The Store. Hold your six-legged horses, PlayStation Plus subscribers. God of War Ascension isn't out until March. But wait, Kratos' debut foray into online slaughter gets underway today with the release of Ascension's multiplayer beta. 
Initially for Plus subscribers, you'll get to plunge into blood-soaked internet battles against your mates two whole months before the game ships, which is a great excuse to do your very best I'm an angry Kratos roar. Here's mine. No? Go on then, Ashface, you do it. Bloody show. Also available for Plus members, this time as part of the super amazing instant game collection, is High Art Shooter sequel Bioshock 2. The game that not only cured our big daddy phobia by letting us stomp around as one, but also taught us that life is way better when you've got a 12 inch drill for an arm. Just ask what's left of that IKEA wardrobe we got in the sales. Also sitting pretty in the Instant Game Collection, and when we say pretty, we mean this, is the ever-popular Mortal Kombat, a fantastic brawler that proves the old school really is the best school, and that it doesn't matter how many times you freeze a man, you can only win a fight after someone has yelled... Oh, all right then. And finally, wake up, Captain Morgane. You've got a golden turtle to find, which is apt considering the game you're in is called Captain Morgane and the Golden Turtle. This vibrant pirate adventure is now available to download from the store, giving me the perfect excuse to play with this pirate sound effects thing I got in my stocking. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Arr, ahoy me oh, it never gets annoying, this. <laughs> That's all from the store this week. We'll have more digital goodies for you next time. After months of increasing sadness at the non-appearance of a Mazo shooter Bioshock Infinite, we got proper excited recently when 2K Games handed us a pad and told us to get stuck into the game for the very first time. Good news, it's bloody amazing. Even gooder news, we then got to talk with Mr Bioshock himself, Ken Levine, who talked us through Infinite's incredible opening sequence. Anything related to the story is um, always difficult to talk about because you know, we don't want to spoil anything for people. And I think we're hearing from people, and what, I, what I, we were hoping to hear was that it's both at the same time incredibly similar and incredibly different to Bioshock 1. And here, you're going up instead of down, but there's also a lighthouse, and there's also a sense of, you know, this starting point. And so there's similarities, but they're also opposites in a lot of ways. And then even if you look at, like, say, Comstock and, and Ryan, they seem like opposites in terms of their personalities, and, and you know, one is a capitalist atheist, and Comstock is a you know a religious fundamentalist, and they seem so different, but yet at the same time, they both have this belief system that they believe solves all problems, and they anybody who disagrees with them, they have a real problem with. Thanks, Ken. Now tell us how you keep your beard so neat and well groomed. Oh, what do you think I'm going to answer? You think I'm going to answer that question? Oh well. We'll have loads more on Bioshock Infinite before its UK PS3 release on March the 26th. Bright lights, games everywhere, Rob buying dodgy things in brown paper bags, it can only mean access is in Japan. But what it also means is that we recently visited Namco Bandai's opulent Tokyo HQ for an exclusive hands-on with gorgeous JLPG Nino Kuni before speaking to Studio Ghibli animation legend Yoshiyuki Mimosi <laughs> about the differences between animating for games and feature films. The process doesn't differ that much because of the similarities to my normal style, which we decided to match at the conception of the game. So it's not like I had to change my style to match the game, it's that the game was made to match the cell shading and hand-drawn style that I normally do. Level 5 game director Ken Motomura was also on hand to fill us in on Nino Kuni's story. The main character's mother dies at the beginning, and the reason we started this way is because one of the overarching themes is how does a child overcome grief and mature? For a child, losing a parent is one of the greatest tragedies that can happen. So the team wanted to explore this theme, and I show how you can move on and grow despite a tragedy. A massive thanks to everyone at Namco Bandai Level 5 and of course Studio Ghibli. We'll have loads more on Nino Kuni before its UK PS3 release on January the 25th. It's fair to say that 2012 was a year full of very naughty people on PS3, so what better way to usher in 2013 than by handing out our very own New Year's resolutions to the worst culprits. Right then, starting with you, Vass, from now on you're going to be nice to people and shave that ridiculous thing on top of your head, okay? F*** you! Okay? F*** you! 
good man. And as for you, Mr Drippy, what did we say you were going to do with your bedroom this year? Tidy! Make sure you do. Isaac, remember what we said about ignoring the voices and the strange symbols? Remember what we said? Remember? Ah, Claptrap, you're going to be wearing this new mute button we've designed for you. Yeah, I think I lost the beat. Wonderful. And given the lack of bullets in the desolate future, what was your idea, Joel? You make every shot count. Well, you've broken that already. You're treading on some mighty thin ice here. Ooh. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. See you next week. That's all for Access this week. Hit the giant red button to subscribe to all our regular episodes and extra features. And if you enjoyed this week's show, don't forget to comment and like us. Like us! Thank you.